Humans are losing one of the most valuable natural resources on Earth, that is, forests. This is through land clearing for agricultural cultivation, logging for goods like timber and paper, urban growth, and infrastructure construction. We continue to lose a shocking 10 million hectares of forests per year, despite the fact that the rate at which we clear-cut trees is gradually reducing. Here are 10 alarming facts about deforestation that will help you realize its catastrophic effects on our wonderful planet. Number 1. We lose over 10 million hectares annually. Although we are improving, that does not mean we are making enough progress. Around 420 million hectares of global forest have been lost to deforestation since 1990. Even while the rate at which we clear forests has been gradually slowing in recent years, we continue to lose roughly 10 million hectares of forests annually, and no region in the world is safe. The most severely impacted regions are South America and Africa, with significant forest loss taking place in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Angola, and Tanzania. Brazil and Paraguay are by far the most affected nations. Furthermore, over the past 10 years, a stunning quantity of forests have also been lost in various Southeast Asian countries like Indonesia, Cambodia, and Myanmar. This is completely insane. Number 2. Forests are being lost at a rate of 27 soccer fields every minute. The planet used to be a lot greener. 10.6 billion hectares, or 71% of the Earth's land surface, were covered with woods, bushes, and untamed grasslands 10,000 years ago. Today, almost half of this land is mostly used for agriculture, grazing, and urban areas, with just about 4.1 billion hectares remaining to be covered by forests and grassland. For context, consider that we're losing forests at a rate of 27 soccer fields each minute. The situation is extremely alarming. Number 3. Tropical regions account for 95% of deforestation. In Southeast Asia, it accounts for 28% of the total, while Latin America accounts for 59%. Rich countries are largely to blame. As a matter of fact, trees are cut down in this region primarily to meet the demands of industrialized nations, which import goods like meat, vegetable oils, cocoa, coffee, and paper that are extensively produced on deforested land. The nations with the highest rates of deforestation worldwide include the U.S., Russia, China, and India. Number 4. Almost all of Haiti's native forests have been destroyed. One of the least wooded nations in the world is Haiti. Trees have been chopped to make way for sugarcane, tobacco, and coffee crops, as well as to harvest charcoal, the nation's main domestic energy source. Less than 40,000 hectares of the country's rainforest remain as of now, but scientists predict that in the following 20 years, it may disappear entirely, putting Haiti one step closer to losing the majority of its unique biodiversity. Nearly 500 species of reptiles, mammals, and amphibians have been identified in Haiti. 16.2% of them are unique, which means they only exist in this nation, while 15.6% of them are now endangered. How pathetic is this? Number 5. Tropical rainforests have lost 75% of their resilience. It may be too late to save the Amazon jungle. In fact, approximately 75% of tropical rainforests have lost their resilience, which means they are no longer able to rebound from calamities like severe wildfires and droughts. According to experts, the Amazon rainforest may soon approach a point of no return, which would cause dieback and convert much of the forest, one of the planet's biologically richest regions, into a desert. Not only would the world lose priceless trees, but it would also lose about 25% of the world's biodiversity and one of its most important carbon sinks, which traps almost 400 billion tons of carbon dioxide. Number 6. Tropical forests emitted 10 billion tons of carbon dioxide between 2017 and 2015. Deforestation is converting carbon sinks into carbon sources. Every year, 15 billion trees are removed. Deforestation accelerates global warming, in addition to degrading ecosystems and causing biodiversity loss. Forests play a significant part in removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere that warms the Earth, because they are some of the largest carbon sinks in the world. When trees are cut down, the carbon they store is released back into the atmosphere, primarily in the form of carbon dioxide. Nearly 10% of the annual human CO2 emissions were produced between 2015 and 2017, as a result of the destruction of tropical forests worldwide. This is surely unacceptable. Number 7. 
approximately 1.6 billion hectares of forest are at risk of devastation. Forest degradation is a bigger issue than deforestation in terms of land mass. In the following 10 years, there is a significant risk of forest degradation over nearly 1.6 billion hectares. This issue happens when forest ecosystems become so depleted that they can no longer sustainably supply products and services to both humans and the natural world. Although climate change has a role in degradation, illegal and irresponsible logging has been the primary cause of it. Together, these two factors, along with wood extraction, account for more than 70% of all tropical forest degradation in Asia and Latin America. This also happens in Africa, as forests are used as a source of charcoal and fuel wood. In fact, more than 80% of people in sub-Saharan Africa lack access to clean cooking fuels and mainly rely on wood for their fuel source. Number 8. Luxembourg's emissions were the highest in the world, at 2.8 tons per year as a result of deforestation. With nearly 2.8 tons annually, Luxembourg recorded the highest per capita CO2 emissions between 2010 and 2014, associated with clearing forests for food production, closely followed by Brazil. The average Brazilian produced 2.7 tons of CO2 per person in the same time frame, from native and imported food, primarily beef. When it comes to deforestation, this example explains why we talk about a vicious cycle. Cutting down trees at the rate we're used to causes climate change, which in turn reduces the ability of remaining cropland to produce food. In order to meet the rising demand of customers, particularly from industrialized countries, governments are pressured to convert increasingly more forests into agricultural land. This makes the situation even more disturbing. Number 9. The rainforest provides 25% of the drugs used in Western medicine to treat illnesses. World forests include valuable resources for treating many diseases. One-fourth of the pharmaceuticals used to treat cancer in the West and 25% of drugs used to treat ailments like pneumonia, rheumatism, diabetes, and tuberculosis come from the rainforest. Pharmaceutical firms haven't even begun to scrape the surface. Less than 1% of all rainforest plants are thought to have undergone medicinal testing up to this point. Deforestation, on the other hand, is prohibiting researchers from searching for prospective plants and trees with therapeutic characteristics and will make doing research more challenging. Pharmaceutical firms all over the world are reacting to this threat by ratifying international agreements like the Convention on Biological Diversity in an effort to reduce the rate of deforestation and stop the scenario from coming to pass. The Nagoya Protocol, which is a part of this treaty, governs just and equitable methods for obtaining and using natural resources, fostering the development and reorganization of protected areas and the preservation of biodiversity. Number 10. Deforestation puts thousands of animals and plant species at danger, as well as over a million indigenous people. Earth's biodiversity is in danger. Nearly 2 billion people directly rely on forests for their livelihood, including 250 million people who reside there. Over a million indigenous people live in the Amazon rainforest alone. They follow the laws of nature and are divided into more than 400 tribes. Deforestation is forcing many people to migrate to metropolitan areas and drastically alter their way of life, albeit indigenous groups are growing more and more vulnerable to it. More than 80% of the land-based life on the planet lives in forests. Deforestation, on the other hand, is responsible for the extinction of 50,000 species per year and the extinction of 137 species of plants, animals, and insects every day. The most seriously endangered species on Earth today are chimpanzees, orangutans, and Sumatran rhinos. Well, that's it from this video. What do you think of these shocking statistics about deforestation? Do you think we will be able to cope with the climate change as a result of deforestation? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.